The Detroit Lions are seven and two people, and and they went on the road, and you know to Ford Field West, and and won yeah. against one of the toughest opponents they have the rest of the way. Things change, seasons are filled with ebbs and flows, but this team is playing at a high level right now, and it's just a matter of trying to sustain it. Because if they sustain it, the number one seed is in play. I mean, the number one seed is clearly in play if they can sustain this level of play. But you mentioned, and Dan Campbell mentioned, hey, we got our guys back. And he was confident and trusted and believed in this team, and which led to some of the fourth down calls. But you, you talked about the offensive line. Jared Goff said, and we, we stressed all week, man, how do you slow down Bosa and Mack? How do you slow down this third best pass rush by sack total in the NFL? Can this offensive line get it done? Boy, did they answer with a resounding yes. Yeah, they they were fantastic. Just together as a unit, um, you know, if they were going to stunt, they were able to handle it. They, they just they, they did it brilliantly against two of the best. I mean, I heard a morning show talk about Joey Bosa, that he's not Nick Bosa. No, he's not, but he's damn good. I love Joey Bosa. I think he's a really good player. But you're going against one of the best. Penny Sewell is maybe the best right tackle in all of football. He left his calling card on the field last night. Says, you know, hey, here I am. Give me a call sometime. It ain't, it ain't, it's not working. You're not getting past me. And and he rose up to the challenge. Decker on the other side, he rose to the challenge. And there, you look at the stat line, no sacks. No sacks. It's the story of the game on both sides, really. No sacks against the Lions. Lions offense able to roll up 41 points. But then you look defensively, Justin Herbert. No sacks. Right. Chargers able to roll 38 points offensively. So this is another Monday, Doug. We keep doing this after a win. Love the win. But there's some, got there's work some stuff to that needs do. to get better. Jared Goff said at the postgame podium he didn't even get touched. He didn't get hit once. Jared Goff didn't get touched by one of the best pass rushes in the NFL. Now, you go to the game book, and it says there were two QB hits in the yeah. game for the Chargers. So Khalil Mack and Austin Johnson each had a hit. Yes. Registered. But. Jared Goff said, I didn't get hit during that game. So, I mean, cool for Jared and everything, and he doesn't remember getting hit, but that just goes to tell you and, and show you what an incredible job, what an incredible job the offensive line did. Now, like you said, Lions win, and there is a but. Like, this is their second – I think we could call it safely their second defensive stinker this year. First one uh, came yeah, against Baltimore. Seattle. Well, Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. It's their third. It's their third defensive stinker this year. Right? I mean, they gave yeah, up 38 well, to Seattle. They gave up 38 to 37 yes. to Seattle, 38 to Baltimore, now 38 to the Chargers. It, and and uh, absolutely, I mean, 38 points is too many points. But I do want to give the defense credit for standing up at the end of the game. There were, what, seven straight plays from the one-yard line, basically, that they said they bowed yeah, their neck and said it's not happening. And, it's um, unfortunate, the pass interference in the end zone. Not sure if it was P.I., but they call it. Doesn't matter. what. And I was driving in. I heard uh, TJ say it, and that's what I was livid with, that the touchdown pass, that offensive lineman is halfway in the end zone blocking Derek Barnes. It's an eligible man downfield. There's no question. And... There's no flag on that, and it cost it. was a touchdown. Yeah. So, what would it look like? Another try, fourth and goal from the from the seven might look a little bit different. Yeah, but, I mean, hey, look, they overcame it. It's honestly, it's it, that was so close to being incredibly impressive yeah. by the defense because it took them two fourth and ones, and one that got bailed out by the PI. That one drive included two Cam Sutton PIs on one on I think one on third and one on fourth. Um, that that kept the drive alive for the Chargers. But, hey, they got to be better than that at some point. You just hope you don't have a bad day on the wrong day. But I really do believe offense wins championships. Your defense just has to be good enough. And hopefully they will be good enough. Hopefully they will be good enough. Who can give more? Well, I mean – I think that you could say that the secondary can give more give more if they do get CJ Gardner Johnson back. I think Jack Campbell's a player that can and is improving week to week. Um I mean can Pasco give him more? Can um 
Uh, Broderick Martin, give them more. I mean, they got to find a way to get more out of their defense in some bigger games coming up. Yeah, and there were a couple things offensively they could have done. I mean, they had the touchdown that was called back that really strange that, you know, T- uh, Taylor Decker, no doubt, is trying to go low yep. to make a block, but he doesn't touch the guy and he still gets flagged for it, which was odd. And the Lions end up with a field goal. So that's four points. They turned down an opportunity to kick a field goal. So that would have been, you know, another three. So you're looking at seven more points they could have scored. It looks a little different at 48 38, but I don't care. Kang, what'd you think? Yeah, obviously. I mean, very obviously, the offense was good enough to win yesterday because they did win the game and scored a ton of points. Defensively, a game like that, when it's clear you don't have it as a whole, right? I mean, they were, I mean, what, the, the Chargers scored on their last five possessions? They couldn't be stopped. It was a game almost where you felt like whoever had the ball last was going to win the game. So defensively, that's just where you need someone at some point to make a play, to make a splash play. Uh, an interception, a fumble return, right? A, a big sack. sack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Things like that. It just never happened. And I thought they got screwed on a couple of those pass interference calls as well, Gator. But still, someone had to make a play at some point, and it never happened. And, and the, I think that's why... When the people, roughing call. Yeah, people at the trade deadline were... They, they wanted help somewhere on defense. This is, I think, the reason why. Hey, I hate talking about it like this because they won the game and it was a great win. Wins are hard to come by in the league. Look around the league. I say it every week, guys. The NFL will humble you. Did anyone think the Ravens were going to get no, lose to the Browns? You know, Cleveland, they, no. Yeah, exactly. Things like this happen all the time. So a win is a win. But just looking forward, whether it's Hutchinson or any of the guys you guys mentioned, at some point when the defense as a whole isn't doing it, someone has to make a play.